Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yumesh Gupta. In today's video, we are going to talk about a question that has been making round on social media, especially LinkedIn, Twitter. I suppose it's asked by Facebook in one of their uh, phone screening rounds. So in this question, we are going to talk about set timeout. It is a common utility that we use in the front end to set timers. But in this question, we are going to talk about implementing a function called clear all timeout that is going to clear all the active timers on the page. I'm going to show you one implementation. If you feel that uh, there is another implementation or you can add on to something, then please do mention it in the comments. Do share your views. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's talk about set timeout. Basically, it's a function utility function that takes two parameters, a callback and a delay in milliseconds. So this callback will be, will be invoked after uh, the delay we provide. It's a, the minimum guarantee. So when we invoke this, we are going to get a unique ID and we are going to print it. And after four seconds, we should see hello world on the page. So if I run it now, then we get four as the ID and after four seconds we should we are seeing the hello world so now we can use this id to clear the timer so if i let's call it here before the console log and if i run it now so we are clearing the id we are printing the id because that's stored in the variable but we we are not seeing any print that means this timer is cleared using the clear timeout function so we talked about set timeout and how can we clear a timeout, uh, a timer basically. So in this question, we have to create clear all timeout. So let's first write some basic algorithm. We have to clear all active timers or in this case, active timers set by uh, set timeout. For that to happen, we need to know all the IDs because we have seen that a set timeout gives us a unique ID and we can call clear timeout to clear that. Once we have the IDs, we can iterate over IDs and clear them all. So this is the basic behavior we have to implement. So let's assume we have those IDs. Let's assume we have a array called set timeout IDs one, two, three. Let's say they, these are the unique IDs. So how can we clear them? We can simply iterate over them. So while timeout IDs dot length till we have the length, we are going to call clear timeout with timeout IDs dot pop. So basically what it's going to do is that, as I said, that we have IDs. So it will first give us three. We will call t clear timeout three and uh, then two. So clear timeout two and then one and clear timeout one. So and this uh, uh, set time id is dot pop it uh, it will modify the original array so every time our array will be modified and it will become one and here it's an empty array after this so uh, so th this is this is after we call it after the pop so it will stop our array will clear after the last call and the loop will stop and this is a O1 operation pop. So you don't need to worry about it much. And this will take care of uh, clearing the timers. So we are clearing the timers, but for that we need to collect the timeout IDs. So let's say this is an empty array for now. Uh, let's remove this. And for, so we need to collect those IDs and we know that we can only get those IDs once we call the set timeout function, but set timeout function, uh, you know, could be invoked at any point of time. So the only way here would be to monkey patch or, you know, override the set timeout. 
so let's say first we collect original timeout function which would be window dot uh, set timeout then what we do is window dot we overwrite it monkey patch it with our own set timeout so this is going to take a function and the delay so in this we are going to get the id by invoking the original set timeout so we will pass the function and the delay if you want you can also do like rather than function and delay you can do something like dot args uh, sorry dot arguments and then spread here inside original timeout i'm just doing it for the sake of simplicity and we have the id so in the timeout ids we can push this id and we have to return this id we are returning this id here because user uh, can call uh, clear timeout on their own also so they need to have this id that is why we are passing it so we monkey patch the set timeout function and we also implemented the clear timeout so let's test things out uh, here we have four set timeouts uh, that are printing one two three four and uh, we are calling the clear timeout so just to test thing out let's console print timeout ids here so console print uh, console dot print is not an actual function uh, so this is power provided by the devtools or tech platform we are using so that using this function we can print in the output panel here we can write uh, clearing id so that how many ids we are clearing and at the last we can call done and we can call uh, timeout we can print the timeout ids here so yeah, I'm just closing the functions and let's call it post be up um, by commenting out the clear timeout and if we call it so we have uh, all the IDs one two three four plus uh, we are printing the four IDs uh, as in four, sorry four console logs here one two three four now if I call it with removing this and calling the clear all timeout i run it then again we get one two three four as the unique ids which we are capturing here and printing out the array then we are calling four times clear ids inside the clear timeout function and at the last we see that there is no id in the array so our array is empty so right now we are uh, you know polluting uh, the global scope that we have timeout id and original timeout function here and uh, clear timeout so let's clean this let's scope this out so we'll create a function and inside this function we are going to pass window we are going we are basically creating a ify and we'll move in everything from here inside this function so we have here window so this would become w set timeout we can call clear timeout here and i think that's about it so if i run again after commenting out the clear timeout so we are getting the four and items and we are printing but if i call with uh, clear all timeout again the same output so a couple of pointers here i uh, so here we when we cleaned up we moved uh, everything inside the ep uh, which is Im immediately invoked function expression so we are passing the window object here that we are getting as a param and on the window object we are uh, 
setting to property set timeout function uh, so we are monkey patching that and we are adding clear all timeout plus now these variables set timeout id and original timeout function will act as private variables and we are not able to access them outside uh, the scope so that's it and plus also one more thing we can keep in mind that right now we are using an array for uh, storing the set timeout ids you can store a, you can use a object or a map and uh, get that uh, uh, key from there and delete in the map or the object plus uh, uh, one case which people see is that uh, they forget uh, cleaning the set time, set uh, timeout ids array no oh, sorry timeout ids array and if you don't clean then your array becomes long and every time you push and it the length will keep on increasing so let's say you have this implemented on your web page and you push uh, uh, let's say 10,000 IDs already so by running a loop again you are uh, going uh, you know o, o n operation and after 10,000 you you are getting that ID so it's important that whenever you call it you clean out your array we could have used shift here also uh, right now we are going backwards three two one we could have used shift uh, function uh, function which uh, sorry shift method uh, but in that case it the of uh, the time complexity would be o n so i'm using pop i don't think it would make much of a difference but if you think it would affect somewhere then please do let me know so this brings end to our video i hope you like my solution uh, it was pretty straightforward if you think uh, there could be another way to do this or uh, you know so you can improve we can improve upon something you can add something or uh, modify something then please do let me know and as always do like share and subscribe this video and please uh, uh, share it with your friends and everyone so have a nice day bye bye